Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Appetizer. As always, I'm Jalen Russell, and today we're talking about the Denver Nuggets. Now, just how bad will the Denver Nuggets be this year? Let's look at their offseason. They finish out the year 30-52 and 52 under Melvin Hunt after firing Brian Shaw midway through the season. That, was, uh, that put them in 12th place in the Western Conference, and now they've made some interesting moves in the offseason. They uh, replaced Melvin Hunt with Mike Malone, who was the former coach in Sacramento with the Kings. The GM from the Kings actually moved over to the Nuggets and just brought Malone with him, essentially. And it seems like he's taking that same losing culture that he fostered in Sacramento over to Denver as well. And it's not like it took a lot because they had a losing culture to begin with over these last couple years. They added Emmanuel Moutier through the draft, which he looked good in the summer league, but when you really look at his numbers, was he that good? I would argue that he wasn't. He shot 14.3% from three throughout the entire summer league over the four games in Las Vegas, which even Ricky Rubio and Rajon Rondo, two guys that have been maligned over their careers for not being able to shoot, shot better than 20% from three in their worst seasons in the NBA. They also extended Wilson Chandler and picked up Nick Johnson and Joey Dorsey in a protected first-round pick in that trade for Ty Lawson that sent him over to the Houston. And Ty Lawson's the only person that they really lost. Now, Ty Lawson might not have been the best person for their team culture-wise. He might not have been the best person for their team off the court. But the guy did lead their team in points, assists, and steals last year. It's a pretty big blow to just let that guy walk regardless of what the issues were off the court just because he wanted to pick up this point guard from that played in China that you don't have a whole lot of tape on and that can't really shoot the three at all, so teams are just going to let him keep throwing up these ugly shots from behind the line. Now, their starting lineup's looking like Moody is going to start with Jameer Nelson coming off the bench as a six-man, maybe, or Randy Ford or Will Barton, who they're really high on, could also be a six-man for the team. The starting lineup we filled out with uh, Wilson Chandler, Danilo Gallinari, Kenneth Fareed, and Yosef Nurich. Nurkic, sorry. Uh, looking at that starting lineup, really don't think they're going to produce a whole lot of wins. Gallinari's coming off an injury. Uh, Fareed kind of showed that he was in and out. It'd be interesting to see if he can go back to that FIBA status that he was at uh, after last summer uh, or early fall, depending on how you look at it. Uh, if he can return to that, maybe this team becomes a little bit more competitive, but he's going to be they're going to be dependent on him and Gallinari to kind of carry this team with Wilson Chandler adding in. This team is pretty set up uh, for a rebuild and for moving forward, but for this year, it's going to be a struggle. The Nuggets are going to finish out 21-61, and 61, which I have them being last in the Western Conference, which, look on the bright side, Denver, you'll get an early draft pick. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks a lot.